What's going on, everybody? You tuned in to another No Time for Talk, Just Time for Action podcast. I got two special guests that have been working with me for quite some time. Uh, I will go ahead and allow them to introduce themselves. If you all could please like, share, subscribe this video, putting out good, better, and resources out here for the community. Um, these people are out here doing great work, great work. Um, definitely reach out to them if you have any veteran needs. So without further ado, ladies, go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, good morning. Thank you for having us here. Uh, my name is Mel Windsor. I'm the executive director of um, Valley Hope of Chandler and Valley Hope of Tempe. And I'm Melissa Kenworthy. I am the director of clinical services for Valley Hope Association. Um, I'm also a veteran. I served four years with the Army as a military police officer. And so now my life's work is really helping veterans. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about Valley Hope. Uh, what is Valley Hope? What, what do you guys do for the veteran community? Well, Valley Hope, we provide uh, drug and alcohol treatment for those that are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. Um, we offer a, vi a wide uh, variety of services within that space. So we provide detox, residential treatment, but also outpatient services as well. And then as far as veterans are concerned, um, we do offer a programming here uh, that specializes in veteran care. Um, when we have uh, several veterans in our care, we offer special small groups that addresses those very unique issues um, that veterans face. Um, but we also just give them a space in which they can just be themselves. And, you know, we hear a lot of, um, you know, maybe not complaints, but just concerns about if I go, if I go get treatment, you know, whether that's at the VA or somewhere else, am I going to be treated like a person or is it just going to be like a hospital setting? Um, but here at Valley Hope, it, it really is more like a home-like setting. Um, feedback we've been getting from our veterans is they feel like they're at home um, and that they're amongst friends and family when they're here in treatment. Awesome. Uh, definitely when I went through and did the tour, um, I can definitely attest to that home feeling. Um, it seemed like, you know, hey, everybody is here to help me. Um, I don't feel out of place. Um, it really felt like a calming uh, setting. So if you can, uh, take me to the process. So uh, either we um, get a veteran who comes from a referral or a direct pay. Um, what does that look like? The first few nights, how does that look like? Yeah, so um, if the veteran wants to use their VA benefits, then in order for um, VA benefits to apply towards their stay, they're going to be required to go to the VA. Mm -hmm. It's through the emergency department or through their primary care provider or their um, mental health um, at Jade Opal. Um, they will need to get a referral to Valley Health. And sometimes they're given a list and I would encourage them to tour, right? Come look at our facility, come see what you think. Um, and that's really important uh, to encourage veterans to do that and, and everyone that wants to come to Valley Hope or somewhere else. Um, and I would say that um, what's so important is to have some of the things that we have in place, which is 24 hour nursing, uh, medical uh, care available, 24 hours, uh, physicians on call. Uh, and we are able to do that. So the veteran would come and they would um, be in detox if that's the level of care that's appropriate. It can last anywhere from, I'd say, three days to 10 days. So it just really varies based on this need and uh, the medical need. Then at that time, um, depending on what the approval level is from the VA, they may either uh, go back to the VA if there's availability at the program at the VA then they may go back to the VA for continued care. Or um, sometimes uh, they're allowed to stay for the entire residential program at Valley Hope. Um, and then at times, there's also an option then for outpatient. And 
And our patients um, will sometimes uh, get approved to go to our outpatient program, but they also have options and can um, the VA will determine, again, if there's an option for them to go to the outpatient program at the VA. Now, if a veteran has private insurance and private commercial insurance, maybe through a loved one or through another, you know, uh, job that they have. Um, we also encourage them to uh, use their private commercial insurance. And if they do, Valley Hope is um, an in-network provider for most private commercial insurance companies. So they can actually call in, our admissions team will verify their benefits, uh, we do our best in giving them a preliminary idea of what, you know, the cost may be. Um, it's always an estimate, but it's certainly something that uh, we can help them uh, navigate. And then we, um, again, go through the process, right? We go through detox. We also offer residential care. And um, we're an inpatient facility with 55 beds. Awesome. You know what I, I have to tell you recently a situation we had a uh, we had a veteran here that really wasn't sure this would be a good fit and we encouraged him to stay and and kind of see because at that time we we didn't have it kind of varies on how many veterans we have we had a couple other veterans but but um, he felt very adamant that that the best level of care was to be with other um, veterans a big Group and all veterans. And um, I'm proud to let you know that that actually, that opinion changed in this process. And realized that, you know, um, being able to be in a home-like environment and a loving, nurturing, and caring environment that's not hospital-like and not facility-like, um, he found to be a really good um, option for him. So always encouraging everyone to have an open mind and awesome. it's there. And I could just add real quick, we also accept TRICARE. Yes, so true. If we have veterans who's got TRICARE or TRICARE for life, um, you know, we do accept we are within network um, with TRICARE. So um, if they don't, if they already got that, they don't necessarily have to go through the VA to get that authorization. Um, they can just come straight here if, if that's what they wish to do. Yeah. Awesome. So can you speak to a little bit more, let's say they get enrolled into your full 30-day uh, program. Uh, what does that day-to-day -day look like? Is that, you know, uh, them going to gym, classes, therapy? What, what does that look like for them? So our uh, patients, and that is for all our patients, so whether they're veterans or they're uh, not, um, they will uh, start every day with communications, telling them about the day ahead. They will have um, several workshops throughout the day, which will include lectures about maybe, um, you know, maybe we'll talk about the medical aspects, right? This is what happens in addiction. This is what happens to your body. This is what happens to your brain. Um, we have therapy group. So they will have a small group with their counselor. Um, but I'll back up, every uh, patient is assigned a primary counselor. Um, they will also be assigned a chaplain. And um, that's because, not because we are a particular uh, religious-based program, we're actually a 12-step based program. And based on that, we feel that there's a spiritual component to recovery, it, it is for some, it isn't for others. And we're open to work with our patients where they're at and just uh, kind of help them through that process, right? What does that look like for you? And try to find ways to make sure that they're just set up for success after they leave. Um, we also have um, on certain days of the week, uh, recreation time. And during that time, uh, we may play cornhole, could be all counselors or staff against the patients, or we play, <laughs> or we, uh, there's volleyball court here, sand volleyball, there's a basketball court here. Um, we have a workout room um, in that room. That is not done as a group, but they have time where they can, when they're medically approved um, with a buddy, they can work out in our workout rooms. So, 
they also have um, gender group um, three days a week. We have a grief group, um, different options. Um, we have meditation every morning. Our veterans get a special um, meditation called Transcendental Meditation. What's that? Kind of, um, it's a practice that was established in, I want to say it was the 1950s in India, and it is uh, widely used and has been accepted as a practice for working with veterans that have trauma. Mm -hmm. And it is, has been found to be very effective. And the VA, VA has, um, has approved this and uses this for many of um, their, their patients when they're at the VA. So I myself have done it. I, I'm guessing it's amazing. It's really, uh, I find it to be very helpful. And um, I think we do really, really positive things about our veterans. Um, on staff here, we have uh, four uh, veterans. So uh, we're, or five, four or five. I may have heard another one. So um, we actually have employees here that can speak, you know, personally with our um, VA patients. We've also all, every employee here has had special training. And so we make sure that um, I know I, I was thrown into it my first week here and it was wonderful. Uh, I learned so much. But we also have uh, wives, military wives who have um, a lot of their own, right, experience um, in the military as well. So lots of support. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so. I'm give her some kudos, Marco, Marcus, just really quick. Um, she, uh, her second day, I think, on the job, we had her at a, um, the Arizona Coalition for Military Families had a, a set up with, um, I believe it was the Arizona National Guard, but they had drill sergeants come in and uh, she was part of the, uh, <laughs> She was part of that group there in formation, getting yelled at by drill sergeants to see just kind of like, and uh, yeah, that was that was pretty great. So awesome. But staff here did receive training. Um, they got to eat MREs. They got to learn about some of the, you know, just just some of the cultural, you know, differences that just happen with those veterans, you know, so they could kind of understand a little bit better. And yeah, and they really loved it. So. All right. What kind of MRE did you email? I don't remember. I think we had Chili Mac. He yeah, might Chili Mac. Yes, <laughs> most Mac. veterans will tell yeah. you Chili Mac is yeah, like that. And I right. bet it tasted great, didn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is, yeah, that's it awesome. Was, <laughs> was not home, but. Right. right. So as far as now the uh, veteran or patient, they complete the program. Um, is there an opportunity for them to come back, maybe speak about their experience, help? Is there anything that they can help with in that capacity? Yeah, we have a really strong alumni program. Uh, we actually have an alumni coordinator. Um, if the veteran or any patient of ours um, approves uh, for us to stay in contact with them, um, our alumni coordinator will call them uh, one week after discharge, one month after discharge, six months after discharge, one year after discharge, and 18 months after discharge. So he's always telling them, I'm not calling to collect bills. I'm not calling to get anything from you. I'm just calling to check in with you. And soon we're going to have an app. So I'm really excited. That should be any day that we'll be able to put on uh, smartphones if people are interested. And that will just help us um, provide resources. So, you know, when the, if there's a crisis, you know, that they have the resources that they need right there on their phone and um, are able to connect with Valley Hope, but also able to connect with outside resources. You know, we oftentimes are telling our, our patients, you know, and encouraging them to call Be Connected. Um, we have a lot of knowledge here on how to navigate the system. We also um, really love when we can help veterans that have kind of stayed away from the VA. Mm -hmm. We love to be able to help them uh, understand what benefits they have and help them get connected and have those resources that they so badly need and have earned. Awesome. Awesome. 
you all are doing a, a fantastic job. Um, and, and on that note, uh, how do they contact you? Uh, what's, what's, the, what's the number? Hope I'm not putting you on the spot here. Uh, the number or you know, how, how can they get a hold of you? Well, they can certainly call our facility. Um, they can also uh, give us, email us here. Um, there is a web form on our website, valleyhope.org. Mm -hmm. um, they also can, um, you know, come by. I mean, they could certainly just go to the gate. We are somewhat locked down just because of um, we're trying to monitor in who's coming in and who's leaving because of the current COVID pandemic, you know, trying to be careful. We are a healthcare facility, so it's really important that all of our patients know um, that we do require masks. We do require, um, they keep social, dis be, they're social distanced, uh, that they're also using, you know, proper hygiene with, with their, um, with their, you know, hand sanitizers and everything. So um, I think that it's a real easy process. However, if they want to use their Try West benefits, those will require our veterans to go to um, the VA and have the referral come to us. And again, it can be from the fifth floor, it can be from um, the emergency department, um, it can be from um, their primary care provider. Um, again, it really is a priority and um, important for everyone to know that in order to come to using those TriWest benefits, they'll need to go there. Please uh, let everyone know that they can call 480-899-3335. Uh, we'll answer the phone. We have an admissions team here. We can accept admissions 24-7. Yep. Yes, 24-7. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> you know, right. That veterans in crisis, you know, I, that's, that's what I need. People who are, who are there ready to, to answer the call. Um, so before I let you ladies go, do you have any, any final words for the, for the people out there? You know, the, the final thing I think, Marcus, that I want, you know, any veterans listening to right now is what I love so much about Valley Hope and the people that work here is even our non-veterans is the heart that they have for our veterans is, it's just amazing. I mean, they absolutely love veterans and they appreciate veterans and they want to do whatever it takes to help a veteran get well and live their best life. And for me as a veteran, it's just really heartwarming to see that. Uh, from our staff, from whether it's the maintenance guy who absolutely loves our veterans, our cook in the kitchen. <laughs> loves our, I mean, he knows everybody by name. He knows everybody is coming through these doors and, and they love his food, you know, um, and that's what I would want, you know, veterans to hear is that you do have options where people are really going to care about you, like genuinely, authentically care about you um, as a person, as a veteran in particular. Um, so, that would be my final thought, Marcus. Awesome. Yep. It's important too to know that the Valley Hope slogan is hope for life. And that is truly what we, you know, believe. And we want to be a part of everyone's journey. Um, belief is everyone deserves recovery. And we have seen miracles happen. Um, so if there's anyone out there that is desperate and, and needing help, we're here for you mm -hmm. and we care about you and we know that you have value and we would love to be a part of helping you find that recovery journey. Awesome. Well said. I don't think there's anything else to, to say. You ladies are doing a fantastic job with, with Valley Hope. Um, again, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, uh, subscribe, share. Uh, we'll get this video out, push it out to everybody, veterans, anybody out there. If you need help, contact Valley Hope. You can see it right here. They are they are wanting to help, willing and able. So I thank you both for coming on the show. Um, I know you're busy, busy, busy on a, on a Monday here. So definitely thank you. 
uh, for your time. If there's anything that Veterans 5 to 9 can do to either get people to the facility or, or you know, bridge that gap, you know, we're here to help. Appreciate you, Marcus. Thanks for your work, too, for Veterans. Yeah. And Thank you, Marcus. You're, you're a wonderful asset for our community. Awesome. Awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, Veterans 5 to 9, like, share, subscribe. Uh, here you have it, Valley Hope. Loving it. Peace. <laughs>